going on my car. I'm doing four today. So, all right, this one's going to be the Philadelphia 76ers and the Pacers. This one might be probably one of the only games that you might watch half of. And I say half because there'll be some games that grab my interest, that grab my eye. There might be some games that grab your interest in your eye. But this sounds like one of those games where you can easily predict who's going to win and who's going to lose. Right off the bat, it's going to be 76ers because they're bigger, they're stronger, they're faster, they're younger, they're hungrier. And this team has actually played this team a total of eight times in eight seasons. And they've actually faced each other four or five times in the playoffs. They have faced each other three times in the seasons. So this is like a, a given. You know 76ers is going to come out as the winners of this matchup. Now, the Pacers might, might actually play some good defense for the first two quarters. You know, their strongest, their strongest thing is defense. The Pacers, they're always a good defensive basketball team. Problem is, when they switch from defense to offense, their offense collapse and their defense starts to fall apart because they, they do too much. They try to get into a running transition game. Um, they try to shoot around with teams. Like whenever they face the Raptors, they lose. They face the Bucks, they lose. When they face the Celtics, they match up very well with the Celtics. So if this matchup was the Boston Celtics versus the Pacers, it's perfect because both teams are good at defense. But it's the 76ers versus the Pacers. 76ers just happen to be good at offense and defense. Pacers are just good at just defense. Anytime they try to switch from defense to offense, they defense and they offense collapse at the same time. And how do you stop the 76ers? That, team, that team's got a backcourt, starting five. And they have a center that actually can hit three-pointers and make his free throws. Like, in the first two quarters, you're going to see a battle from the Pacers. Like, trust me, you're going to see a battle. It's going to be interesting in the first two quarters of the first half, and then the second half is going to get boring. The game's going to slow down. The game's going to get tight. And you're going to be like, man, I thought I was going to see a battle the whole game. Now, they might pull off a comeback in the third quarter, and it'll get interesting again. But then just when you think the Pacers actually have a chance 76ers will just beat them, and you'll be like, oh, I don't know why I watched this game, but the score is going to be 99-90. to 90. That's, that's the best way I can tell you is that it's going to be close, and 76ers going to pull away. The score is going to be 99-90. to 90. 